Good old soap. For years, it was good at two things, cleaning and giving kids a reason to avoid curse words. Ick. Let's talk the former, not the latter. By now, you've heard about the 20-second rule. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. But why do we do that? Why? Why? Here's why. Take a close look, a really close look at soap, and you'll see this. A molecule. One side loves water, the other loves fat, hates water. Put soap and water next to oil, let's say, and the soap molecules go to work. Water-loving side goes toward water, fat-loving side goes toward the oil. That's why soap does such a good job of cleaning your gross, grimy dishes. Now let's see it interact with the novel coronavirus, named because of those weird things sticking out. Those things allow the virus to enter your lung cells, and that's a bad thing. The outer layer of the virus has a weakness, the water-hating, fat-loving side of the soap molecule. See that? That outer layer. Scientists call it a membrane of oily lipid molecules. That outer layer is no match for soap. Each one pries the membrane apart, exposing the water-soluble inside of the virus to, yes, water. Eventually, soap forms a bubble around the bad stuff. Scientists call it a micelle. Add more water, and it all washes away. So why 20 seconds? Look at your hands. No, seriously. Look at your hands. See all those lines? Viruses like to get in those. More soap time, more time to clean those cracks. Hand sanitizer? Yeah, it works too, thanks in no small part to alcohol, which, through a sciencey term known as denaturing, works to destroy the virus. Key is to have at least 60% alcohol. So yeah, that vodka in your cabinet probably won't work. Save that for something else. Like, say, celebrating the real cool thing about soap. So get going and start counting. One, two, three, 20 seconds. Should do the trick. Yay, soap!